Canopy and air brakes closed and locked, ready to go. Here we go. So we're going to bounce along here for just a second and we'll lift off. Okay, we are flying. You doing all right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to follow the tow plane here for a bit. Now, do you have your feet on the pedals or anything? No. Yeah. Okay, good. So we're at 200 feet now. Uh, Chris, do you ever do any water skiing? Yeah. More like water skiing behind the boat in the center where there's no weight. That's the idea here. And again, you can use your left hand to get scoops of air if you need to. You need to get to the same bay to the east. And downtown Miami to the left and the keys to the right. And the view will just get better and better as we get higher. So we're coming up on US 1 and over the city of Homestead. And off in the distance, you can see the keys on the right hand side. Downtown Miami to the left. Just, you can, I can make out Marlin Stadium. It's kind of a strange looking white object. It looks like a uh, flying saucer off the left in the middle of the city of downtown Miami. We're 4,700 and um, we're gonna do that we climb at a slower rate as we get higher. The performance of the airplane gets worse and worse the higher we go. As we're, as we're gliding to blow us back towards the airport. Uh, airport. So Chris, if you want to fly, what I, I'll tell you how we're going to do it. Up ahead, you can't exactly see a clear, distinct line of the, of the uh, horizon, but basically, this now we are flying level at the correct pitch attitude. So we want to, I want you to fly, and I'm, I'm not going to give it to you yet, but I'm going to explain it. I want you to fly, notice the stick is not moving at all. It's, it takes very little movement, but it does take firm pressure. So when you move it, it's not like it's real light to the touch. It takes a little bit of pressure, but it's not a lot of travel. So I'm going to say, Chris, you have the controls. You say, I have the controls. I say, you have the controls. That way I know you heard me and that you know that you're flying. And I want you to keep your head up straight, your body straight, and keep the wings level like you would see driving a car. Not at a bank, not, I mean, no bank. We don't want to bank it. We don't want the nose up. We don't want the nose down. We want to just keep it nice and steady, right like that. So, you, Chris, try to put your hand on the controls, and you have the controls. I have the controls. You have the controls. So, just kind of balance it. If, if I ask you to make an adjustment, it's going to be very minor, like one or two fingers up or down, probably. But because it's so stable right now, I think you'll have an easier time. So you are actually flying the glider right now. And it's starting to turn left, so I want you to push it to the right. Harder to the right to arrest the, the bank. That's good. So I want you to get the wings back level again and don't raise the nose. Lower the nose. So you're going to push straight left and right to correct the bank without pulling backwards or pushing forward. Okay, so, so it's, you're doing the two things at once. So it's banking left, 
So push right, push right, push right, push right. There you go. Now even it out, let, let off the pressure. And don't raise the nose, don't raise the nose. There you go. And push left now. So it's a constant balancing um, to kind of keep it level, straight and level. And it becomes almost like riding a bicycle. You know, you don't think about what you're doing with the handlebars when you're riding a bike. Right. But, you know, you're in your first one minute of flying here, so it takes a little getting used to. Lower the nose by one or two fingers. There you go. That's probably enough. Maybe another finger. And, and, and push a little to the left. Okay. You're doing good. If you don't hear me correcting you very much, that's a good sign. <laughs> so now one or two fingers lower. There you go, right there. Right there is good. So I'm going to let you make a turn to the left. So you're going to let it bank now. It likes to turn to the left. So go ahead and let it bank. But, and don't look, let the nose drop, though. Keep the nose level as it's turning. And don't let it overbank. Push right now a little harder. You don't have to stop the turn. You just have to not let it bank too much. Now, I want you to level the wings now and fly straight. OK? There you go. Beautiful. Let's go this way for a while. You having fun? Yeah, this is awesome. OK. So a little left. Push a little left. There you go. That's level. You see the Everglades out in front of us. And I can see all the way to the end of Florida, Florida Bay, off to the left. And we're hearing Bimini on the radio. That We're so high up that we hear radio calls from the Bahamas. Oh, wow. And Clewiston a lot of times. You're doing good. Once we get below the clouds, I'll probably take it back to try and find some lift. So I want you to kind of enjoy it right here and kind of get a sense of it. So you're gonna to have to thank Lori for the anniversary present if you're having yeah, a good time. This is a pretty sweet anniversary present, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's a birthday. That's, so, what I, that's what I told her when I was standing out there. I said, this feels like a birthday present, not an anniversary present. So you're doing okay. You got the right idea. I can tell that you're correcting. A little wobbly. No, that's okay, though, because you're not like, it's not over banking. You know, the fact that it's going back and forth. My brother flies for the airlines, and he does the same thing, so... <laughs> You're doing pretty good. So let's go to the left. We're going to try and go under that cloud over there. So if you kind of let it bank to the left and don't, you know, just keep the nose up. Don't let it drop too much. We'll, we'll be descending. We're going to go to the left of the cloud is what I would like to do. Don't, now bring the nose down again a little and let it come back and there you go. Now level the wings right there, okay? Good. So let's go in this direction. See the roads leading south? Yes. So use those as a reference for your direction, for the heading that you're going. So now you're going a little bit too far to the, to the, the, the so there you go. That's good. That's there was the old wobble. <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing good. You're doing good. Really good. Why is it usually always banked to the left on its own? Well, it's it's a little bit more drag on the left or something. It's uh, you know just little minor things um, when you allow. It, it's just like a bad alignment, I guess. But and it's really hard to get it right. So very few aircraft fly absolutely straight. It's always a trim that that helps correct it. And we don't have what's called rudder trim. We only have. Uh, elevator trap. So yeah, I definitely, see off to the right, Chris, the turquoise water, not very far, that's 
That's the Florida Bay down there. Doing great. So I'm going to take it for a minute because I want you to get some video with your camera. I have the controls and I want to go Love back controls. underneath that cloud. So it, this is because we're up high enough, you, can, you should be able to get some good video. I may do some turns to the left so that you can point the camera right out the, uh, the window and not through the canopy. And that gives a better, usually gives a better shot if you hold the camera right up to the window so that it's not shooting through the plexiglass. And we're gonna go a little faster now to get back under these clouds up ahead. I'm gonna try and find some lift for us now. And I think there might be some under this cloud. It's not a very well developed cloud, but maybe there will be some lift. Yeah, we're now, there's an instrument on the right, Chris, that has an up and down arrow that says winter. That tells us our rate of descent. So if you see that at zero or above zero, that means we are climbing or we're not descending. Right now we're going down 200 feet a minute, but I think further up in this, under this cloud, we may get some positive rate. So let's see, look at the instrument now. See how it's above zero? So we're actually going up or at least maintain our altitude. But the, the, the reason that we circle is the areas where it's lifting is not, are not very large. So we try and see, kind of circle in that area where the, the rise in air is strongest. And what a beautiful view down to the south. It's really nice. The other thing about being under a cloud is it's shadier. A little less sun. Yeah, this cloud has not got much, if anything, that I can find. Let me see if I'm just in the wrong spot. That's a possibility. So what kind of motorcycle did you get? A uh, Harley. I got a Harley road bike. Oh, wow. I got in an accident like four months ago. Someone pulled out in front of me. Oh, uh, boy. It's just very fixable. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, I guess that you're from Palm Beach area, yeah. so maybe it's better up there. It's just, it's, you know, deadly down here, except on a Sunday when, you know, you get in, in regular traffic, it's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's not, it's not easy. People are busy texting and they're yeah. just not paying attention. Doing everything but paying attention. Right. I'm trying to maneuver us into lift because Lori's going to be disappointed if I bring you down too soon. <laughs> I'm sure you had a good drive to get down here. So. Yeah, it was almost two hours. Oh boy. So the game that we do, we had a glider fly from here up to uh, Claremont, north of uh, northwest of Orlando. That's where I got in my motorcycle accident. Oh boy. So you know Claremont. That's yeah. A, there's a glider port there called Seminole Lake. And he flew to uh, Seminole Lake, and so what I mean is, it's possible to do, uh, uh, to stay up a long time and to fly a long distance. That's pretty wild to go that far. Yeah, I've done a lot of five-hour flights. Uh, the most I've flown in a triangular kind of course is about 300 miles. And, wow. Uh, but up, up near Claremont, you know, I took off from Claremont. I went south down to. Lake Wales and up to uh, the uh, uh, Ocala area, so kind of in a triangular course. But you have a lot of options and places to land up there, a lot of farm field pastures, cow pastures and farm fields. Here, landing in the swamp is not a good option. So. Yeah, right? It doesn't roll too good that way. No, it does not. And there's rock under that grass, you know? it's. So we're at big sink right here, so I'm going to accelerate. I was not expecting that. Let's see. Do that. So we get areas of, of rising air and of sinking air. So the 
slow up a little bit here in hopes of finding some lift. There's a few little bumps there. And we're actually going up about 200 feet a minute now. We're at 2,500. Let's see uh, how high we can climb on this little thermal here. Um, but again, Chris, if you're not happy with the circling, you gotta let me know. No, I'm good. Okay. Um, do you guys get Channel 6 at all up in Palm Beach? You ever receive that on the TV? Um, I'm not sure. We don't really watch much regular TV. Good for you. <laughs> Well, uh, Channel 6 antenna is the big antenna that you see as we come around off to the, where is that? I don't see it. It's around here somewhere. Yeah, it's okay. just off the left. And that's up at about 1,900 feet, about 1,000 feet below us. And uh, so we're up to 2,700 feet now. So we gained about 200 feet going around in circles a couple of times. Now we're going down again. So let's see, where is that lift? And Chris, we do fly with birds. So if you see a buzzard or two or three or four, please let me know, we'll join up with them. That's always fun. We get really close to them sometimes. I mean, they're right off the nose. Kind of like a boat and a school of dolphin, that kind of thing. Right, right. So I'm trying to, there's not a lot of clouds today. It's kind of a dry day, which is good. No thunderstorms. Another couple of weeks, we'll be getting, you know, you know the weather here. Yep. Yeah, regularly scheduled afternoon thunderstorms. So, it's, you know, people that, it's not so much fun in July and August out here. I bet. I took my, my ex-wife up. Um, I'm not sure if that's the reason she divorced me, but <laughs> um, on a rainy day, and she, uh, she was not a happy camper with the was thunderstorm. Too, it was too bumpy? Well, it was mainly she was worried about the rain. And it wasn't thunderstorms. It was just rain showers. But she was nervous about that. And she didn't trust my driving. So, of course, she didn't trust my flying. <laughs> so, yeah, it seems like I'm going around in circles. But I you know, that's because I am, you know. Climb. And if you've seen buzzards circling, people think, oh, they're, they're circling to the attack. If they come up here, there's no food for them to eat up here. They get up here, it's cooler, the squirrels don't bother them, the raccoons don't harass them, the mosquitoes don't bite them. They come up here and then they fly for fun. And they use it to travel, too. But, and I guess they probably get a whiff of something down on the ground every now and then. Right? But uh, a lot of time, I'm sure they're just doing it for fun. All they have to do is essentially drape their wings out. There's no, no, no effort involved, no energy involved. So I'm going to go to that cloud over there next to the uh, airport now. I'm going to turn up the radio a little bit. Energy. So if you're not 
you know, paying attention and up on the ground really quick. Uh, uh, because you, you're not, you know, you're not looking for where. So it's kind of like hunting in a way, you know, looking for where. Uh, that's the sport, the challenge, finding the lift and staying in it and getting high up and using uh, solar energy to power your, your flight. There's that lift. So let's see, we, we're below 2,000 now. I'm going to try and show you that we're going to, hopefully we can climb. It seems like it's going to be strong enough to climb and see if we can get back up to 2,500. You doing okay, Chris? Yeah, great. Yeah. Taking it all in. All right. Well, I hope to have a good video for you. It takes me, uh, may take me a week or two to get it out. I'll give you a card of my, my YouTube channel. And you can see some, meanwhile, you can see some of the other videos that done up there. If you subscribe, it'll have your name in it, you know, to uh -huh. get an email notification that, you know, Chris's anniversary flight or something, I'll name it something like that. The aluminum anniversary. <laughs> uh, maybe that that's what I'll call it. Chris's <laughs> aluminum anniversary. You think that's a good name? You're Sounds happy with that? Okay. That, that's what it's going to be then. I thought we were going to climb, but we're still going down. There. I know it's a little bumpy here, and, and also, especially if you're not happy, you got to let me know. No, that's okay. Okay. I'm fine. Now, when we get, if we do get to 1500, we have the option of doing a little bit of aerobatic stuff. It's not real aerobatics, it's just, you know, maneuvers. Right. And we can do that if you're if you do like roller coasters, we can do that at the very end. I do it at the end of the flight because if it does upset you, then the flight's almost over. And we use altitude to do it. So um, once we get to 1500, if you're if you're happy. Uh, um, then we will we'll try and do some of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. But we are in a good thermal now and we're flying. We're not headed down yet. Get a little better view of the Everglades from this location. We can't actually see the alligators unless they crawl out on a road or something. And I've seen them crawl out onto the runway. I bet. Uh, in the winter, they want to get warm, so they'll go in a sunny spot and hang out. Go so back up to 2,000 here. Gain a few hundred feet. So maybe we'll get to see the parachutes uh, landing in, a, in two minutes, or three minutes, or four minutes. Uh, off the, I'll, I'll show you, point out where they are, point the nodes and where they come down, where the drop zone is. And that's kind of fun, you know. That you're not, we can't, we don't get too close to them, but it's a different point of view than uh, looking at them, watching them from the ground. 2,200 now. So we gained about 500 feet. And then we lost 200 feet. So we go up and down. So I'm going to head back over the airport, closer to where the skydivers are. And The tow plane is hooking up again to take the uh, glider, looks like. You 
see the airport to the right? It's almost right below us. The buildings, the runways, the turf. See it? Right there. Over there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. I was looking for a small. <laughs> I was looking for a smaller spot. Now it's big. It's about a mile square. You see the glider and the tow plane down there? Yeah. Okay. So we are going to land on the grass. Remember, not not the paved runway. And we'll go faster when we do land. We're about. We're getting to that like that 1,500 foot level again. And we encountered some sink there. So I thought we were going to. But we, I do want to do some uh, little bit of aerobatics. So it may be a question of aerobatic kind of stuff or, or maneuver kind of stuff or um, watch the parachute. So I depends if we get some lift right over here in a second. I think we might just do the maneuvers. Homestead traffic got a glider 1,400. Uh, we're going to be landing about three minutes at Homestead. It only takes three minutes from here to land? Yep. Oh, wow. So we're going to do some maneuvers here. Not going to be able to watch the parachutes, I don't think. But we're going to accelerate. One of the things that we can do is we go down and then we go up. We get a little bit of negative Gs and then we push it down again. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll do some, some turns. I know that wasn't much, but we're lower than what we should be. That was pretty so, cool. Okay, you know, I just want to show you that we're pretty maneuverable. We can do that kind of stuff. And I, there's a parachute. Look up high to your right. Look up high, high, high. See the orange one? Yep. Okay, so, but we're not going to be able to wait for them to come down. We're going to go ahead and land. Okay. Once the traffic got a glider and went downwind for runway 9, turn Homestead. And I'm going to taxi to parking Homestead. We're getting ready to land. Chris, I'm going to use the uh, blue handle here. So make sure your knee is clear of that. And you're going to see the ground kind of coming up. And that's just normal. We're going to fly along the ground for quite a distance. And then we're going to pull it over on the other side of the tent to where we park the glider. So that's when I say we're going to attach to the parking that's good. So that we don't have to pull the glider. You won't have so far to walk to get back to the tent. So this is our base turn here, and using a little bit of air brakes now, and lining up on our final.